Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about Arduino and some Arduino-related sensors and modules. This is an introduction video. I'll explain all of these modules in detail in my upcoming Arduino series videos. I'll be using Arduino Nano, Arduino Uno, and ESP32 microcontrollers in these videos. So, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing for more tech and electronic videos. Now let's get started. Starting with this ultrasonic sonar sensor. This module works by sending out a high-frequency sound pulse from a transmitter and measuring the time it takes for the echo to bounce back after hitting an object. It can be used for measuring distance, detecting objects, and avoiding obstacles within its range. The maximum measuring range is almost 400 centimeters. Each sensor has an ultrasonic transmitter, a receiver, and a control circuit. The module has four pins including VCC, trigger, echo, and ground. This is an infrared obstacle avoidance module. This is very similar to the ultrasonic sonar sensor, but works in a different way. Instead of sending a sound pulse, it sends out an infrared light signal through an IR emitter, and a receiver detects the reflected light from nearby objects. The detection range is typically between 2 to 30 centimeters, but can be adjusted using a built-in potentiometer. The module has three pins including VCC, ground and output. You can use this IR module for obstacle-avoiding robots, line-following cars, automatic doors, and even security system projects with an Arduino or any other microcontroller. This is a capacitive touch sensor that can replace mechanical buttons in Arduino and microcontroller projects. It can detect touch when a conductive object like your finger makes contact with the sensor pad. The touch sensing works on both sides of the sensor pad, and the response time is around 60 milliseconds in fast mode. The sensor can be configured in either toggle mode or momentary mode for versatile use. This sensor module can be used in touch-controlled LEDs, smart switches, home automation, and various interactive projects. The module has three pins including VCC, ground, and a signal pin. This is DHT-11 Digital Temperature and Humidity Sensor Module. It is designed for microcontroller projects like Arduino, ESP32, and Raspberry Pi. This is the main sensor. It can measure temperature from 0 to 50 degrees Celsius with an accuracy of plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius and humidity from 20% to 90% RH with an accuracy of plus or minus 5%. You can show this data on any external display module. It is suitable for basic environmental monitoring applications like weather stations, smart home automation, greenhouse monitoring, and HVAC systems. The module has three pins including VCC, data, and ground. This is a soil moisture sensor module a simple yet effective tool for measuring the water content in soil. It consists of two conductive probes that detect moisture levels by measuring the change in resistance. It can be used in agriculture, gardening, and automated irrigation systems with any microcontroller. The module has two parts. This is the main sensor, and this is the processor which consists of an L393 comparator chip and a built-in potentiometer. You have to use jumper wires for connecting both parts. The sensor is easy to integrate, allowing for automated watering that only activates when the soil becomes dry, preventing overwatering. There are four pins in the module including VCC, ground, digital output, and analog output. The flame sensor module is a fire detection sensor that responds to infrared light emitted by flames, making it useful for fire detection, safety systems, and robotic firefighting projects. This is an IR receiver or photodiode that detects wavelengths between 760 to 1100 nanometers, which are typically emitted by flames. While connected with a microcontroller, if the sensor detects any infrared light within its 60-degree detection range, it sends a signal through the digital output pin. The sensitivity of the output signal can be adjusted with this built-in potentiometer. This sensor module is ideal for fire alarm systems, automatic firefighting robots, and industrial safety applications. The PIR Motion Sensor Module is a widely used sensor for motion detection in security systems, home automation, and smart lighting projects. It works by detecting changes in infrared radiation heat emitted by objects, particularly humans and animals, within its field of view. The sensor has a pyroelectric element that senses IR changes when movement occurs. It means the sensor only reacts when there's a movement of the object, not just presence. The sensors have an adjustable sensitivity and delay time using onboard potentiometers. The maximum detection range is about 7 meters and the detection angle is not more than 140 degrees. The module has three pins including VCC, output, and a ground pin that can be connected to any microcontroller or Arduino. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you learned something about Arduino sensors. See you in part 2 of the video, where I'll introduce more sensors and modules.